Well, the Jackson Police Department is changing the way it discloses crime statistics to the public, and we can confirm tonight it happened as a result of our Three on Your Side investigation into inaccuracies in JPD's weekly reports. But in today's first new crime stats meeting, one key detail was left out. Chief Investigative Reporter C.J. LeMaster joins us now to explain. Yeah, Maggie, we're actually talking about the crime stats themselves. Chief James Davis said at the beginning that this public meeting would be directly to the numbers, straight to the numbers, giving the impression that specific numbers would be mentioned. But none of the officers mentioned specific numbers of major crimes this morning, like, for example, how many house burglaries we had for the week, month, or year. In many cases, those officers would say generic things like, well, for week three, those property crimes continued to decrease, or we dropped 50% from one week to the next. But without being able to look at the numbers or no specific dates. It doesn't really give us a clear picture of crime in Jackson at all. Chief Davis did confirm at the beginning that these meetings are a direct result of questions our three on your side investigation raised about certain crimes fluctuating up and down. We actually found when those numbers plunged, the department released those reports to the public on social media. Now you may remember that the city told us last week they'd start releasing these new crime stats on the 15th of each month. Well, today's the 15th and we're still waiting on those to be posted.